Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news when it concerns Star Wars, but <laughs> yeah. Hey, what else is new? So we got the Kenobi show coming along. Then there was a plot leak that people didn't like it. But hey, it was just a rumor. Maybe not. And now we've got this story. So here I am at Bounding in the Comics, and they're doing a story on this business of um, the actress uh, Moses Ingram, who will be playing a pivotal character in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So uh, the, uh, Bounding in the Comics does this overview about Lucasfilm overall and uh, their really awful history when it comes to race. Um, uh, they had this uh, Ariel, uh, Christina Ariel, who was a, uh, a host for their YouTube channel or something like that. Uh, it's, it's been a while. But uh, she had all these racist tweets. I mean, just blatant racism. Um, one after another. And um, she would post all this. And people would say, hey, what the hell? What's this? And so Star Wars, the official account response to this, our Star Wars community is one of hope and inclusivity. <laughs> No, it isn't. We do not stand for bullying and racism. Yeah, you do, because you support Christina Ariel, who's a racist. So, you know, so much for that. Then, of course, there's all the stuff with John Boyega and uh, Kelly Marie Tran, which uh, they and they recently, once again, uh, dust off the old lie that she was chased off social media by uh, online fans when no she wrote a letter uh, an op-ed in new york times about uh, hollywood hollywood mistreated her because of her gender and, and uh, color and all that uh, so they just kind of hey let's just forget that part and paste in uh, star wars fans and say that that's what happened so absolute crap and that's you know the media's response to it uh, not just uh, lucasfilm themselves and then, of course, John Boyega. Boy, <laughs> how'd they treat him, huh? Uh, took his face off the poster because the Chinese, well, they didn't like that. So, <laughs> well, quite a backbone there, Disney. And uh, me, it didn't, his character, I mean, of the new characters, you had Ray, who never got a story until the last second of the trilogy. Guess what, Ray? You're Palpatine's cloned granddaughter or whatever. And uh, but uh, and Poe Dameron, uh, not really. He was there to get his balls kicked. And uh, but but Finn, Finn actually had the tease of a story, uh, and also that there was something mysterious about him, and all the, and it never followed through. Uh, he was the of the new ones, the most interesting character in Force Awakens, in my opinion. And then it w it went nowhere. He got destroyed in Last Jedi as well. He was there to be a clown, and uh, he spoke to this. Because it's obvious. I mean, he was exploited and presented as this new lead character. And uh, no, it was just a bait and switch. And uh, so, shut up, Lucasfilm. Don't, you, you, you've no ground to stand on to lecture anybody uh, on these elements. But let's use it anyway. So they've warned uh, Miss uh, Ingram here, uh, Moses Ingram, uh, about all oh, the Star Wars fans are so racist. So they're going, what in the world is Ewan McGregor wearing? Your pants don't fit, Ewan. Anyway, uh, they tell her the, the, the racist uh, Star Wars fans are going to come for her. And she said, oh, don't worry. I, they told me they, they're ready to help me out and, and all that stuff. And I think she... Um, all lost in the pages here but Deborah Chow told her not to worry that uh, she's put proper systems in place to feel safe to uh, do the work and I'm like good lord you know what does she need bodyguards or something and uh, I, <laughs> I don't know and uh, she says of course there's always pockets of hate but I have no problems with the block button oh well if that's all it is then why are we talking about this you know some snotty uh, tweet or something from some anonymous asshole. Yeah, boy, we got to stop the world spending for that. So, and then it uh, goes on about the Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, show will be the most diverse that Star Wars has ever been. So, uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Apparently, you didn't count. I, You know, I, it's just stupid, stupid stuff. But why? Why do this? You know, uh, it, the show's almost about to debut. And uh, you, you, you dump on uh, fans like that and immediately call them uh, racist. 
uh, to try to head off any criticism whatsoever because that's they've used the charge of racism for that very purpose for a lackluster and terrible plot. You know, i.e. the Disney sequel trilogy. And um, so the answer to this is the possible leaks. So I, you know, I'd heard about them, about how she's going to be the real hero of the series. She will save Luke Skywalker, not Obi Wan, and uh, she'll sacrifice herself at the hands of Darth Vader to protect Luke. And uh, she's the real hero that saved the, the New Hope for the galaxy. Uh, of course, we didn't really get the Great New Hope until Ray showed up because we end up we find out that Luke was nothing but a sniveling, grumpy old coward. Uh, something like that, you know. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was just a rumor, so how could it? You know, maybe it's not true. Let's hope not. They uh, they can't be that stupid to do that to Obi Wan, yet another classic beloved character, and they would do that to him in his own show. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's now looking like that's probably pretty pretty spot on. Um, maybe they'll have a scene where it's Obi Wan uh, pleads with uh, Reva and convinces her uh, you know, not to harm Luke Skywalker. And uh, she, she agrees to keep it secret. And, of course, this means she'll die, but she does it because that makes her a hero. And uh, that's how they could uh, smooth that over. But if it's just all on her own, she's the real hero and stuff, and then just steals the thunder from his own show. <laughs> and, you know, it could have been anybody. I don't care what the character, you know, but, oh, but look, look, she's black and she's a woman. Oh, oh, that's, you know, make it all about, you know, reduce her to skin and genitals in order to save your shitty space show that apparently you didn't know what to do, even though it's pretty obvious. You know, the, the coolest scenes is between Obi-Wan and, and Uncle Owen, which that makes for uh, great material for, uh, for a narrative there about what happened between the two and that uh, Luke was nearly discovered. Uh, in the story, but uh, Obi Wan holds it off. But in the end, whatever possible friendship or relationship he had with uh, Luke's uncle is now gone because he doesn't want any more threats uh, anywhere near Luke, and, and he cuts off uh, Obi Wan from then on. You know, and uh, I'm sure something of that would happen in this story, but they can't help themselves. You know, they got to do this stuff. So. So depending on how it's portrayed, maybe it wouldn't be as bad as it sounds in the leaks, and that it's that big of an undercut of Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, but man, putting out this stuff about the fandom is a bunch of racists as 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 to, uh, as yet another idiot shield for uh, a crappy show, uh, or what they already apparently suspect is a crappy show <laughs> is um, well, it's just awful. You know, Lucasfilm is trash, you know, to do that sort of stuff and act like they're in any position to do that sort of stuff based on the history of what they've been up to. And uh, don't tell me, oh, you just want to uh, protect your new star here and, uh, and and back her up when all these nasty racists come for her and stuff. Yeah, well, Miss Ingram, you might want to talk to John Boyega about that. So anyway, there you go. Um just my little take on this that um, quite possibly those look, looking more likely that the the plot leaks true or it's not true but it's still just a really bad show <laughs> and everybody's going oh man this is a plot hole and oh you got this wrong and all that kind of stuff well you're a racist it you know hey how come Darth Vader was in this part when he in the movies he wasn't you're a racist that kind of thing Ain't that great? I think this is it. I was thinking like the Kenobi show would, since it's in the past and it's kind of just, you know, it's just adding to what's already known. And uh, I was all right, whatever you watch that, that later shows. Cause you know, the real hope is that something like Ahsoka does involve time travel that uh, retcons the sequel trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. I just don't see it. With this kind of stuff, I, I I don't I intended to watch the Ahsoka show, but I don't I don't think I can if this Kenobi show just trashes the Kenobi character. Yeah, that'll be that. And and this type of stuff. Manipulating people, tokenizing people, using them to protect your space show. 
Yeah. Um, it's a very bad, bad company. 